All right, we're doing hydraulic oil on the AGT LRT23, and this applies for most Chinese skid steers. Now, some of you guys have a drain plug at the bottom of your hydraulic tank. There's your hydraulic tank there. So if you have a drain plug, you can lift the front end and find your drain plug, or you can leave it flat and try and get your hand under and get your drain plug. But for those of you who don't have a drain plug, or for those of you who don't want to use the drain plug, there is another method, and let's get to it. Now this is your hydraulic tank. You've got a red cap there and under it is your hydraulic oil filter. If you're not ready to replace the filter or you don't feel it's necessary, then you don't need to take this off. Now this is on extremely tight, it is under pressure and you need some very big channel locks to get this off. For those of you who are looking to just replace the oil, you can go in through this side here. And for those that are wondering, should I replace the oil filter? Well, the answer is if you want, but only if your hours are high. Now that filter is actually rated for 200 hours. And don't mistake in the mesh screen versus the filter that's underneath this red cap. The one underneath the red cap is rated for 200 hours. So if you don't have anywhere close to that, don't even bother about opening the red cap. Now removing this cap is not enough. You actually need to remove this mesh filter and you can do so by removing four H3 screws that are holding it to the tank. And once you remove your mesh filter, then you'll be able to access the tank entirely and you can actually see the full contents of it and all of the oil. And then from there, you can put in whatever it is you want to extract it, whether it be a hand pump or an automatic pump whatever you have laying around the shop. And here are those three screws I was talking about holding that mesh screen to the tank. There are four of them and I've lost one, so I'm gonna have to find it or replace it. I'm using a hand pump, it's a little bit slow, but as you can see, my hydraulic oil is black and it should not be this color. I picked up new AW46 or ISO 46 hydraulic oil from Walmart on clearance for 39 bucks for 19 liters. Not a bad deal. Now, some of you guys also have a sight glass on the side of your tank. So on this side here, and you can see it, there is a sight glass allowing you to go look at what your oil level and temperature is. So I'm gonna continue pumping out the old hydraulic oil and then we're gonna refill. Now, one thing you need to make sure of is that all of your hydraulics are all the way down. Bucket is down, tilt is down, everything is down so that all the hydraulic fluid returns back to the tank and you can extract as much as possible so that you can replace it with the new stuff. And for those of you who are just curious on how this works, on this side of the tank, you've got your oil that comes out of the tank, feeds your pump, your pump does what it's got to do, and then when the oil comes back, it goes through the cooler in one end, out the other end, and then returns here, which then goes through a filter to make sure it's clean before it goes back into the tank, and then the process repeats itself all the way around. And for those of you who are curious what's in the tank, there is also another filter on the inside, and here it is. And you can see that we've got another mesh filter on the inside of that tank. Now I finished my extraction, and I wanna let you know that you're probably only gonna get about five gallons, or roughly 19 liters, out of your system. And that's because you still have hydraulic oil in the cooler, in the pump, in the lines, etc. And so if you get about five gallons, that's kind of what you're aiming for. And so I was able to fill up this old 18.9 liter bucket, roughly five gallons worth of old hydraulic oil. And it gives you a sense of how much you've got to be putting back. The actual oil capacity for the unit is 6.5 gallons, but you'll never get 6.5 gallons out, as I said, because the system still has some of that oil in it. Now, a lot of you guys are wondering, how do you determine the oil level using the sight glass? A lot of people have been saying, fill the sight glass to the halfway mark or the three quarter mark to allow for expansion. Now, now that you can see the contents of the tank with the 
mesh filter out. What I can tell you is that the sight glass will be full when the tank is about 80% full. That's the expansion room. And we're gonna do that using the mesh filter and we're gonna mark three inches down as I'm gonna show you in the next clip. When it comes to figuring out how much oil you really need in that tank, like I said, sight glass, but measure three inches down on this mesh filter and that's the correct amount. So we're gonna take a measuring tape, we're gonna measure three inches down, and then I'm gonna mark it with a little Sharpie, and that's gonna give us our oil level. And then what I'll do is I'll actually show it to you on the sight glass, so you know exactly where it should be on the sight glass and where it should be in the tank using this mesh filter. Taking my measuring tape right from the top, and I've got three inches down. So you can see here, if you look at this, this is roughly about a quarter of the way through and that's where you want the oil level sitting when you put this back into the tank. So I think I'm at the full mark now. Drop this in, pull it out, and I'm just above that mark, and I'm totally okay with that. Now I'd like to see where I am on the sight glass. So I'm gonna drop you in. And as you can see, we're actually full on the sight glass. If we look at it in terms of the contents of the tank, so as I said, the mesh filter, we know we had our mark there. And if we look inside the tank, it's hard for you to see here, but I would say this is about 80% full. And this piece here, about two inches down, almost three inches down is your expansion room. So we have the correct oil level and the sight glass is showing full. So for those who are saying only fill the sight glass to about half or three quarters, that is incorrect. As soon as this hits the level it needs, the sight glass will be full. If you're worried you put a little bit too much, don't worry because the cap has a pressure relief built into it. So if you put too much oil and it expands and it builds up pressure, it will release from this cap so you've got nothing to worry about. It's as simple as that. Replace that mesh filter, put in your four screws, put on your cap, and that's it. Do a little bit of cleanup because this is a very messy job. And other than that, that is how you change the hydraulic oil on Chinese skid steers like the AGT LRT23.